Hi all, it's PJ with Montevilla Sewing Centers and today we're going to talk about tearaway stabilizers. I have a couple of examples here, Floriani and OESD, and these are the two main product lines that I'm going to talk about. They're the two major product lines that Montevilla carries. As a general rule, tearaway stabilizers are used with stable fabrics, and generally stable fabrics are wovens. Although that is not always the case, there are some industrial knits that are actually even more stable than a woven, but then there are also wovens that are not stable at all. Flannel, terry cloth towels, and denim are usually the wovens I think about that are not stable wovens. And we'll talk more about those when we do the cutaway section. With tearaway stabilizers, one of the most important things that you wanna look for is that it is non-directional and the way you tell this is if you just take a little corner of your stabilizer and you tear it in both directions it should tear equally in both directions which basically means that it's going to stabilize equally in both directions sometimes stabilizers will only tear in one direction which really means they're only stabilizing in one direction so you can see here, this evenly tears both ways. So that's exactly what you're looking for. The link to the stabilizer cheat sheet is in the video description below. We're gonna start with what I call just a basic tearaway stabilizer. In the Floriani product line, it's the medium tearaway. For OESD, it's still the medium tearaway. Both Floriani and OESD have a water activated adhesive which is either the wet and stick or the hydro stick and Floriani also has heat and stay which is a fusible medium tear away and in Floriani the medium tear away the wet and stick and the heat and stay it's all that same medium tear away base here's a couple examples of what you would use just a standard tear away for this is a muslin and on this particular sample I actually backed this with a fusible woven, which we'll talk about that in the specialty products. But then I used just a tear away stabilizer, stitched everything and tore away the stabilizer. The fusible woven stays in place. And then on this, this is a very lightweight design. So I just used the tear away. And then when I got done, I tore away all of the stabilizers. This is just a quilt weight cotton. And again, this was a very lightweight design. This is a towel. Now, as I said, to start with, generally speaking, you're going to use uh, tear aways on stable wovens. As a general rule, terry cloth towels wouldn't be considered a stable woven because if you pull on them, you can see there's there's give. They're not overly tightly woven. But on a towel, on the back side of the towel, you're not necessarily going to want a big chunk of cutaway stabilizer left in the back of that when you're done. On occasion, and depending on the design, you can use a tearaway stabilizer on some things that are not necessarily stable. And this would be a good scenario for that. This is not a very dense design and it had good underlay, the underlay stitchings. It had a double run underlay, which is what you would want for a towel. And again, the stitches are not very dense. It's just a satin stitch. So I was able to get away with using a tearaway with this. So that is just kind of the standard tearaway. The wet and stick and the hydro stick. The Floriani wet and stick comes with a grid and without a grid. And I'm going to get this up close to the camera so that you can see. This is the one with the grid and this has been washed. So you can actually see the grid through the bobbin stitching here. So unless you want that grid to show through on the back of your towel, I would strongly recommend going with the non-gridded version. Just a little tip there. Also, the one tricky little thing about this, which I think I have found a solution for, 
is getting the right amount of water on here. If you don't get enough water, you don't fully activate the adhesive. If you get too much water, it can actually almost hold too well. Plus you have to wait for it to dry a little bit so that it will get tacky. This is the mist sprayer. And I'm, I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm hoping that this will show up on the camera, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure that that showed up. What's different about this sprayer than most spray bottles is that it is in fact a mist. And so what is good about this is when you are spraying your stabilizer, it gives it a nice even mist, but it's not too much water. And I am pretty sure that the camera will not show this, but there is uh, just a very nice even misting of water over that entire surface, which is perfect because you don't want too much water. And then give it just a couple of seconds for the adhesive to activate and then you can put your towel down to it. If you are having trouble releasing your towel after you get done embroidering, just take a spray bottle of water and spritz the stabilizer um, to reactivate the adhesive. And once the adhesive has been reactivated and then gently pull your towel up. If you, if it's, if your towel is really, really stuck to the adhesive, when you pull up your towel, you could actually pull up the loops because the loops could stay stuck. So just reactivate it kind of, I tend to use a fair amount of water and then pull it away. The Stitch and Wash, the Floriani Stitch and Wash or the OESD Ultra Clean and Tear is really kind of a special type of a stabilizer. It, when it's made, it's made with long fibers and short fibers. And what happens when you stitch your design out, long fibers get caught in the embroidery. And then if there are areas like in this particular design where there's kind of open stitches, this illustration shows the open stitches a little bit better. That will not catch all of the short fibers. So as the item washes, the short fibers will event eventually rinse away and then it will leave your embroidery nice and soft and you will have stabilizer where you need it. And in this case, in the dense areas, but it will wash away through these parts. And I'm not sure that you can actually see this on the camera but there's little parts here where it's starting to wash away. It won't wash away immediately. It is not water soluble. Over time, the short stitches will wash away though. Here's a little tip that I like to use. This is just a kitchen scrubby. So I would soak my embroidery and then the areas where I want the stabilizer to rinse out more fully I would just take my little kitchen scrubby and just very gently scrub the back of that to start breaking up those fibers so that the sharp fibers can get washed away. It will take repeated laundering. And if you have one of the new fandang, oh, they're not new that new anymore, but if you have one of the front loading washers that gently moves the clothes through the washing machine, it will take much longer because you don't really have the agitation. It kind of takes agitation for that to happen. The Floriani Perfect Stick and the OESD Ultra Clean and Tear Plus both have a tacky adhesive and they're perfect for doing towels. I'll do a whole separate video on just how to hoop up a towel, so watch for that. The Fusible Tearaways, Floriani Heat and Stay and the Stitch and Wash Fusible and then OESD, the Ultra Clean and Tear Fusible. I've probably said this before, but if I haven't, uh, note that fusibles in stabilizers are not a permanent fuse. It's temporary. You're going to need, once you've done your embroidery stitching, you'll need to be able to either tear away or trim away that stabilizer. So just know that the fusible isn't permanent and it's not intended to be. One thing that I will point out is that OASD has a black stabilizer. If you're doing a dark project, it's sometimes nice to have a black stabilizer. As a general rule, your stabilizer is just gonna tear away and you're not gonna see any of it anyway. But if you're worried that it might show through, 
the black is a good option. Also, OESD has a heavy weight, which is really nice, and they recommend that, I think, in their tiling scenes. That's it on the Tearaway Stabilizers.